Hello everyone, Rick here from DxO Mark. I hope you're doing well. DxO Mark is back on YouTube, and this time we're bringing you something a little different from what you normally see on our channel. It is not a review video. Check it out and let us know what you think in the comments. If you like this new type of video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. This will encourage us to produce more videos of this kind. DxO Mark has recently tested Apple's new iPhone 13 series phones. You can read the reviews, as well as many others, on dxomark.com. So in this video, we'll be talking about iOS 15. We'll look at the new features that we love on iOS 15 and some really interesting ones that were not presented at Apple's keynote address on September 14th. Now, iOS 15 is not available on all Apple devices. Here's a list of the iPhones that can run iOS 15. Okay, let's go to the 13 best features that we found on iOS 15. First, iMessage. Let's say your friends send you several photos in iMessage. You can now download them all in just one click, which was not the case in iOS 14. Now a download icon appears next to the photos you received. We're thrilled with this new feature that allows all images to be downloaded easily all at once instead of one by one. It's especially great when your contact sends you the 50 photos he didn't have time to send you earlier in the day via AirDrop. It's so much more convenient than via email or the cloud. Also, Shared With You automatically displays shared photos in the Photos app, new articles in Apple News, and any other relevant content in the corresponding app. The Shared With You section shows who sent the content and makes it easy to see the allocated messages to resume the conversation. These two options are particularly useful for saving your time when you need to quickly find photos and content to share with your contacts. Second feature, FaceTime. If you're on iOS, you know that some Apple features are reserved only for the Apple ecosystem. This was the case with FaceTime, but not anymore. Yes, FaceTime calls are no longer limited to Apple devices. People using Android or Windows devices can now join a FaceTime call from their web browser. And because FaceTime calls over the web remain end-to-end -end encrypted, privacy is fully ensured. To initiate a call with a non-iOS user, simply create a FaceTime link on iPhone, iPad, or Mac and share it via Messenger, Calendar, Mail, or any other third-party app. It's so much easier now to start a FaceTime session or a group conversation with friends and family just by sending a link. You don't have to mess with other apps or operating systems. It's pretty cool. FaceTime also has some other added features like now an option to blur your background with the portrait mode. Cancel noise mode to avoid annoying background noises. Spatial audio function that directs the sound in your AirPods according to where the person on your screen is in order to visualize more quickly who is talking. Third on the list, focus mode. Focus mode has really nothing to do with cameras. Instead, focus mode is more about the user. It aims to help you reduce distractions by filtering notifications based on what you think is important at the moment. This will prevent you from looking at Instagram and TikTok and Twitter every time you receive a notification. In detail, you'll be able to activate, for example, the work focus mode during your working hours to receive notifications only from colleagues and professional apps. Uh, other modes include mindfulness and fitness. You can create your own custom settings or choose a predefined mode that uses onboard intelligence to suggest which notification from people and apps you will be allowed. To further expand your ability to focus, you can create dedicated home screen pages with apps and widgets relevant to achieving a specific goal. When you use focus, your status is automatically displayed to your contacts in iMessage and supported third-party communication apps such as Slack so they know that you do not want to be disturbed. You even receive suggestions for activating a focus mode based on factors such as time of day or location. When focus is enabled on an Apple device, it automatically applies the feature across all of your Apple devices. With iOS 15, Memoji offers you a lot more ways to customize and personalize your Memoji look with accessories, style, and new expressions. It really allows you to express yourself any way you want to. Don't hesitate to check out the new features and tips to make your Memoji personal and customizable and just fun. You can also animate your iMessages with your Memoji instead of using just basic reactions. Just go to the Memoji section and drag and drop the expression of your choice. Fifth feature, notifications have a brand new design. Notifications now include contact photos for people and larger icons for apps, which makes them more easily identifiable. The new notification feature allows you to group your notifications together and deliver them daily at the time slots that you set ahead of time. So you can choose when to get your notifications whenever you want, in the morning, during your lunch break, or at night when you get home, without having to look at your phone all the time to see what's going on in all of your social networks. 
Thanks to artificial intelligence, this summary is prioritized according to your interaction with the apps, putting the most relevant notifications at the top. In any case, you could easily mute an app or a thread for a given hour or a day or just temporarily. Number six, live text. Live text makes the text and photos interactive. By activating this option at the bottom right of your screen, you'll be able to detect text within your photos, whether in your camera rolls, directly by taking a picture, or on the web. Thus, you will have the possibility to copy-paste this text, to translate it in many languages, to make a call, or even open a URL directly from the text that easily. In some cases, this new feature will become a must-have. Imagine, for example, taking a picture of a password of your friend's internet box and simply pasting it to connect to their Wi-Fi network. This option will become very useful for students for taking quick notes. Imagine wanting to include a passage from a book in an assignment. You just have to scan the text directly and copy it where you want. So with a drag and drop feature in Notes, for example, or a copy and paste in an application of your choice. Next feature, Share Play. Users can now share experiences with Share Play while connecting with friends on FaceTime, including listening to songs together with Apple Music, sharing your screen, watching a TV show or movie together from Apple TV Plus or any other services like Disney Plus, HBO Max, Hulu, Twitch, TikTok. So even though you're not in the same place, you could still have a night out together. This new feature creates an entirely new way to connect with your friends all around the world and on any device of your choice using the new FaceTime link we talked about earlier in this video. Our eighth feature, drag and drop. One smaller but useful new feature in iOS 15 is the ability to drag and drop images, text, files, and more across apps on iPhones. Cross app drag and drop has been available on the iPad since 2017, but Apple has finally extended this feature to the iPhone with iOS 15. To drag and drop on iOS 15, long press on an image, text, or file, and without lifting that finger, use a second finger to swipe out of the app and open another app. To drag and drop on iOS 15, long press on an image, text, or file, and without lifting that finger, use a second text to swipe out of the app and open another app. Then, let go of the image, text, or file to drop it into another app. Long pressing on the content makes it appear to rise and adhere to your finger, and as the content is dragged, animation and visual cues identify possible destinations where the content can be dropped. In many apps, you can drag a single item with one finger, and while dragging, select additional items by tapping them with another finger. The selected items move together and appear stacked beneath the finger that's dragging the original item. You can then drag the items as a group or drop them into another app. This new feature also works in your web browser. It's now easy to select photos and save all in one go on your camera roll or in your notes. Number nine, translate tools. In iOS 14, if you wanted to translate text, you had to use a translation application and paste your selected text to get the translation in another language. iOS 15 directly integrates this feature. Just highlight the text or do a long press to see the translate option appear. All you have to do is select the language to translate. Another useful feature is that you can dictate what needs to be translated. You can use the translation function to know how to pronounce a word in another language. Or you can use it while traveling when you need to communicate in the local language. Just say what you want and the translation function will recite it in the local language for your listener. Number 10 on our list, data transfer. When you buy a new iPhone or iPad, you can get temporary iCloud storage to transfer data from your current device to your new one. This should make a lot of people happy. So let's say, for example, you had an iPhone of 256 giga and you wanted to transfer your data onto a smaller iPhone with a smaller capacity, then you absolutely had to make a local backup or subscribe to a cloud or iCloud service to store your files. To transfer your data between iPhones, you just have to go to Settings, General, and go down to the bottom in the Transfer section. Transferring to a new iPhone is much easier with this option, but be careful though, it's temporary. As you can see on the transfer screen, it can clearly indicate that you can only use this option for 21 days. If you really don't have enough space, you can always subscribe to an iCloud service or back up to your computer later. Our 11th tip concerns now the camera part. Before iOS 15, if you wanted to zoom during the recording of a video, you had to click on the zoom icons displayed on the screen and then left or right to zoom. Now it's much easier because Apple has implemented well-known gestures already present in applications like TikTok and Instagram. So now you just have to hold the record button and slide up to zoom or down to zoom out. It's a lot more convenient, right? The next feature will interest you photographers out there. That's EXIF data. Now go to your photo gallery. In iOS 15, you can now read the EXIF data of your images. To do this, simply drag up one of your images to see multiple information appear. In metadata, you can find the date when the photo was taken, the exact location, the aperture, the focal length, etc. This information is not limited to photos taken with an iPhone. 
If you import photos taken with a different camera, you will also see many de details that were not displayed before. Of course, these devices must be able to provide them. So if a camera doesn't give GPS information, it won't be available on your iPhone. Our last tip deals with the home screen. This part has really evolved since iOS 14 with the appearance of widgets and different pages that can be hidden. With iOS 15, we can now change the order of appearance of the pages with a simple drag and drop, which will save you a lot of time because we know it was really painful to change the placement of apps when we just had to move them from one page to the other. So that wraps up our best tips for iOS 15. We hope you learned a lot of new things. Remember, if you like this kind of video content, tell us in the comments below and give a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas or subjects that you would like us to tackle in future videos, then let us know. We look forward to hearing from you. See you soon with new videos.